This illustrator demonstration might be review for some of you who are familiar with copy, cut, and paste. But you might want to hang on because there is something a little bit different that Adobe Illustrator offers and that is the ability to clone something on the artboard quickly and easily just using a simple keyboard equivalent. So I'm just going to review copy, cut, and paste, go over the keyboard equivalents, and then show you how to clone an object or a group of objects quickly and easily on the artboard. So, just to start off with, if I have created um, a circle here on the artboard, if I hold the shift key down, can constrain this item to a circle shape, a perfect circle. Now I wanted to make more of these, I can actually copy and paste more of those. By selecting the object using the selection tool, I can edit copy and I can edit paste. Now there's lots of options here with paste. I could paste in front, paste behind the object I currently have, paste in place. Very powerful. This allows you to paste exactly where the other object existed. Let me show you an example. So if you wanted to paste an exact copy of this without it moving around in the XY coordinates, you can actually edit paste in place. And even though you can't see it, it has made a copy of that original object. It just pasted it in the exact XY coordinates as the original. So that can be very handy, specifically if you were trying to make duplicate, duplicate um, documents and you wanted the same objects to appear in the exact same XY coordinates on that new document. Say File New. Let's use some of these default settings that are already there. And then I go Edit, Paste in Place. Boom. The exact same duplicated XY coordinates of that original circle. So that can be very, very helpful. So paste in place. This might be something that you don't know. Um, that is another option available here in Adobe Illustrator and Flash and some of the other Adobe Suite products. So I can also cut objects, of course, on the stage. I can select something on the stage and I can edit and cut. Now some of you may already know the keyboard equivalents to this. On the Mac environment, cut is Command X, copy, Command C, you can see the keyboard equivalents on the right side, paste, Command V, and paste in place, the arrow stands for the shift key. So if I hold the shift key, the up arrow icon stands for shift, Command key, and V for paste in place. Now if you were on the Windows environment, the keyboard equivalents would be Control C for copy, Control X for cut, Control V for paste, or Control Shift V for paste in place. So those are the keyboard equivalents to those very, for very, very powerful tools. So I can copy and paste items on the stage quickly and easily. Now, here's another interesting thing that I can do with my keyboard. If I click on an item and I click and drag it while holding down my Alt, or Option key, it would be the Alt key in the Windows environment. If I hold that key down on the keyboard, you can see that the cursor changes to two arrows. And I click and drag, it clones the item. So that's the super lazy way of copying an item, is I can literally clone something. Well, where might be an instance that this is powerful? Let's say, for example, you wanted to make a bunch of bubbles on the stage. I don't know why, but you've decided that that, that would be a really interesting thing to do. So um, I'm going to scale this bubble down, and I'm going to set some different colors here for the outline. And then the interior, maybe I'll set a gradient. And we'll get into these, these uh, color options at a later date. But let's just say that I have these little bubbles. And I'm changing the colors here. 
to something kind of simple. And I can add a color on the edge here. Make that kind of a lighter blue. Let's see. Okay, just for argument's sake, we've made this little item that looks somewhat bubble-like. Probably lighter colors would be a better choice if we had more time. And so I'm going about using my keyboard's equivalent, and I'm copying this original object and pasting it. Or I could use the clone tool, which is holding down the option key, and I can clone. And I can paste more of the little ones. And I can do some interesting things to these, like change their transparency, or, you know, all, there's all types of options available to me in creating some of these little button bubbly shapes. Okay, so let's say this is my original set of bubbles. And now, um, rather than keep copying and keep pasting and keep cloning, which could be very time consuming, especially if I wanted to fill this area with a bunch of bubbles or maybe fill bubbles across the top of some sort of um, sea of goo that I've got down here that I plan to float at the bottom, I could actually group these items by click, drag, and select all of these items using my selection tool. I just clicked and dragged on the artboard. I can group these using Command G or Object and Group. Now if I hold down the Option key and drag, I can, I can literally clone a whole group of items. And this makes it a very powerful tool because then, you know, I could maybe um, rotate these and kind of seamlessly create a bunch of bubbles on the artboard without spending too much time cloning, copying, pasting, because now with that powerful clone option I can create a bunch of bubbles on the artboard quickly and easily. And this concludes the basic introduction to copy, paste, cut, clone, really fun things to experiment with here, and uh, you will have a project in the module topics related to this particular skill. So enjoy and have fun.